Hi, I'm Bob with uh, Subaru Industrial Power Products and I'm going to talk to you today about basic engine diagnostic uh, techniques. If you have a problem where the engine won't start, uh, we can talk about that here. There are three things that you can look for uh, if it, your engine will not start. And that uh, is basically you need to have good quality fuel in an engine, you need to have a good spark or ignition, and you have to have compression in an engine for it to run properly. And the first thing you should do is just make sure that you have enough fuel in there and this one does okay it's above the exit for the fuel tank and uh, gas smells very good it smells like fresh clean gasoline not gasoline that's too old and has turned sour uh, of course with the fuel system to start an engine you have to make sure that the fuel shutoff valve is in the on or the running position as indicated on the decal okay. I'm going to show you how to check the oil on the engine. We have to confirm that the oil level is good because this engine is equipped with a low oil shutdown system. And uh, to do that, you remove the dipstick, wipe it off, and then just place it back into the hole without screwing it in. All right, we're going to do a quick test here to see if we can uh, get the engine to run if we prime the carburetor. So. Uh, as you can see, we've hooked up our exhaust system here to this engine. If you're going to be testing an engine, running an engine, you should be outdoors with it. The carbon monoxide fumes that the engine produces can be deadly, so do not run the engine indoors. Uh, this is a pump. We've added a little water to the water pump to, to uh, prevent damage from occurring in the pump seal. So to prime the engine, what I'm going to do here is remove the air filter cover. in the air filter element and I'm going to shoot a little starting fluid into the uh, air filter housing here which leads to the carburetor throat see if the engine fires okay there you can see the engine did start but did not continue to run so that uh, shows that we uh, have a carburetor problem in that the uh, engine fired on what we delivered to the combustion chamber with the prime, but it won't flow through the carburetor. So you, you uh, should address the carburetor at this time. Okay, this is how you can check compression. You can uh, just slowly turn the engine over, not in an attempt to start it, but just to get a feel for how the engine is operating. And you can, in this case, you can feel the engine rotating and the compression seems to be good. If you were to do this and the, en and the engine pulled over very easily and there was no resistance, that would indicate that you have a compression problem and you can address that uh, by bringing it to a service center and have them check it out. You could possibly have a valve problem or if the engine is worn out and the piston rings are no longer uh, working properly, that would have to be addressed by them. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to check for spark. What we're going to do is remove the spark plug cap Take the spark plug out. Place the spark plug back into the boot. And we're going to ground the spark plug. Okay, so after you have confirmed that the on, ignition on switch is in the on position, we're going to pull the engine over a little bit here and watch for an arc in the spark plug gap there. Okay, as you can see, we have a good, strong spark in this engine. So if you have no spark, the first thing you should probably do is just go ahead and replace the spark plug itself. If you have a bad spark plug, it's a quick, easy change to just, or test just to go ahead and replace the spark plug. If you have no spark, I'm going to show you a couple of things to check for here. First of all, confirm that you have oil in the engine crankcase again, and we've done that. So I'm going to show you how to disengage the low oil sensor system here. The wires that you see here, the orange wire connects into the crankcase here to the float switch. I'm going to disable the system by disconnecting that switch here by merely pulling these two wires apart. Okay. Now if you should have no spark still, it could possibly be that there's a problem in the ignition switch. 
So I'm going to disable the ignition switch by just pulling the two black wires apart. This wire goes directly to the uh, magneto, the ignition module. And uh, if you still have no spark at this time, I would check the wire to see if it's grounded against the chassis of the engine. It could be ground or the wire is chafed. That could be the problem. So we've talked about how to do some engine uh, diagnostic checking here. And uh, we've checked fuel system and checked for fuel delivery problems. We've checked the spark and for ignition problems. And we've done a little test here for compression. Uh, I hope these uh, tips have helped you. And if you need further assistance or further information, you can check our website for our other videos. Thank you for watching.